going to discuss keying theory single server and finite queue length here the first m stands for arrivals and the second m stands for service and one stands for single server similarly end stands for finite queue length similarly this is first in first out okay here we are going to discuss some formulas the length of the system first one is length of the system the formula is sigma n is equal to 0 to capital n small n p n length of the queue is nothing but sigma n is equal to 1 to capital n n minus 1 p n lambda e is called the effective arrival rate is nothing but lambda into 1 minus p capital n waiting time of a customer average waiting time of a customer in the system is ls by lambda e similarly average waiting time of a customer in the queue lq by lambda e P naught probability of zero customers in the system is 1 minus rho by 1 minus rho power n plus 1. P1 is equal to means probability that one customer in the system is equal to rho power 1 into P naught. Pn means probability that there are n customers in the system is equal to rho power n into P naught probability that there is no q is nothing but p naught plus p1 p naught means p naught means no one in the q no one in the q p1 means one number in the system that means that is being treated okay now we are considering a problem so arrival rate is 3 units per hour here is the problem belongs to the trains so suppose the mean arrival rate is 3 calling units per hour so lambda is equal to 3 units and service time is 0 0.25 hours service time is 0 0.25 hours means so for hour he is doing the 4 units so mu is equal to 4 units therefore traffic intensity is lambda by mu that is nothing but 3 by 4 and system capacity is 2 maximum permissible number of calling units in the system is 2 Therefore, n is equal to 2. P naught is equal to formula 1 minus rho by 1 minus rho power n plus 1. Capital N is 2 and rho is 3 by 4. Substitute and simplify that one. You are going to get it as 16 by 37. P naught is 16 by 37. Similarly, find P1. That is nothing but rho power 1 into P naught. Rho is already 3 by 4 p naught is 16 by 37 so you have come across with 12 by 37 similarly p2 is rho square p naught that is rho 3 by 4 whole square p naught is 16 by 37 this value so you are coming to get it as 9 by 37 so p naught and p1 plus p2 is equal to 1 therefore the values are correct Therefore, length of the system is sigma small n is equal to 0 to capital N. N stands for 2. N P N. That is 0 into P naught 1 P naught 1 2 into P 2. Substitute the values. 1 into P 1. P 1 is 12 by 37. Similarly, 2 into P 2 is 9 by 37. So, length of the system is 30 by 37. Length of the system. That is nothing but the number of persons in the queue similarly lq is equal to small n is equal to 1 to capital n n minus 1 p n therefore 0 into p1 plus 1 into p2 so if you simplify you are going to get as 9 by 37 similarly average waiting time of a customer in the system ls by effective arrival rate effective arrival rate formula is lambda into 1 minus p n lambda stands for 3 units and 1 minus p n 
that is nothing but p capital 2 p2 is nothing but 9 by 37 therefore lambda is 84 by 37 therefore waiting time of a customer in the system is 30 by 37 that means ls is already we did that one 30 by 37 ls is 30 by 37 by effective variable rate is 84 by 37 so it will be reversed therefore 30 by 84 similarly averaging waiting time of a customer in the queue is nothing but lq by lambda e lq is 9 by 37 by effective variable rate is 84 by 37 simplify that one you are going to get it as 9 by 84 thank you